Iconic is the brand new Netflix version of the phone that dropped today on October 20th. The film stars Kate Siegel, Jason O'Mara, and Dule Hill and tells a story about Kate Siegel's character, Jen Thompson, who's been going through a lot in her life. She's had a miscarriage. She's had a broken up relationship and she needs some mental health consultant or a therapist. So she goes to a hypo, um, a hypotherapist played by Dr. Colin made played by Jason O'Mara. And once she gets uh, some hypnosis in her, she realizes that other patients have been getting killed of Dr. Colin made. And she is trying to figure out, is it because of hypnosis and what can she do to stop the Dr. Colin made? The film is an hour and 28 minutes and is TV 14. Welcome back to a brand new movie review here in Mac Talks Movies. We're talking about hypnotic. If, first of all, if you're new to the channel, I do movie reviews, TV show reviews, streaming platform reviews, movie rankings, box up breakdown shows, all of the above, just all movie TV show content on this channel. So please consider subscribing, ringing the bell for notifications. Also, please comment down below. First of all, if you have not seen him, let me know, are you interested in checking out this movie this week on Netflix? If you have not, if you have, let me know, what are your thoughts on him? Not this is your favorite, least favorite films of the entire year. And then please like the video guys. That's the best way to support this channel. Let's talk hypnotic. So I was actually pleasantly excited for this movie. The trailer did intrigue me. And first of all, I just love Kate Siegel. I think she's really fantastic. If you've seen my review of Midnight Manor, which I'll leave as a video at the top right of a screen at the end of this video, I adored Midnight Manor. And I really adore Haunting of Hill House. She's obviously married to Mike Flanagan in real life. So she's in every Mike Flanagan project. And obviously this is the first non-Mike Flanagan directed film or show that I've seen her in. So that was kind of exciting to see her do, while it's still horror, still exciting to see her do something else. And that's kind of the main positive with this film is that Kate Siegel is a really good actress, giving it her all in this movie. She plays a character who's really been traumatized. She's had a really close relationship with someone that didn't go well. She had a miscarriage six months into pregnancy. Um, she's just she's just a person who is never happy and she just wants to be happy again. That's when her friend enlists Dr. Colin made to her. And that's, that's when the hypnotic stuff begins to happen. A hypnosis begins and then something happens that she maybe didn't know she was doing. And then she, and she forgot everything that happened and it leads to her realizing something is wrong with this doctor. And that's kind of the main story of the movie, but she really is, fantastic in this movie as ever. Now, is this her good performance as Blind Manor or Hill House? Probably not, definitely not really. Um, but her performance is really, really excellent and keeps the movie watchable when it clearly is not. Um, really, all the performances are okay, are pretty, pretty much average the rest of the way. Dulé Hill plays a stereotypical detective in this movie who is trying to ch check down this doctor. Jason Amara is the doctor, is one of not a great performance really in this movie at all. He's really obvious what happened. Uh, the movie's very predictable and that really comes with Jason O'Mara's performance as well. It's just, actually, before we even go to the negatives, um, stay with the positives again, she is really good. The movie also looks really good. Some of the settings that they're in, some of the places where they have these therapy sessions with Siegel's character, with O'Mara's character, I actually think are really well done. Uh, and the, the locations themselves are really great to look at. And the actual plot, I guess, is interesting enough. Well, let's move to my negatives and that I just really did not like this movie. And, and it's, a, it's a shame because Kate Siegel and her character are actually good in the movie. Uh, sadly, everything around her is not that interesting at all. And this becomes one of the most cliche movies that I have seen all year long. And now, is this the worst movie of the year? It's not. You can do a lot worse, and especially in the horror genre than hypnotic, but... There's just things that you see in every single horror movie with every story be, every character be, and it just became so predictable that the movie had all of its emotion taken out of it. As I said, the villain character, Dr. Colin Maid, played by Jason O'Mara, not a great performance in this movie, not really a good performance at all. It's super obvious that he's a bad guy the second he's on screen for the first time. Just not that threatening. And the big twists and turns I guess the movie thinks they're twists and turns. They're not really big twists and turns. If you have a brain, I'm not trying to be a jerk. If you if you actually feel like you have a twist and turns, but for me, the these twists and turns were really really. As I said, Dula Hill plays a stereotypical detective who needs to be in this type of movie. There's a best friend character played by Lucy Guest. She's another stereotypical best friend. And what also hammers is that hammers is down movie for me 
is these are supposed to be the smartest people, these smart characters. I mean, Kate Siegel's character researches everything about hypnosis and this doctor and still makes brutally dumb decisions. Our doctor, who's the main villain, who should also be smart because he's a doctor, also makes really bad decisions during the movie. Our detective character, another character who you think would be smart, also makes really dumb decisions. Our best friend character, of course, makes one of the dumbest mistakes of the entire movie. There's just dumb mistake after dumb mistake and you just, there's no common sense with the movie because if the movie had common sense and had interesting twists and turns and other than Kate Siegel's character had other interesting characters going on, maybe I would like this movie a lot more because the movie is well made, the lead performance is really excellent and the main character really is fascinating because she has all of these negativity and she just wants to be happy. And this is kind of a way for her, but then it goes down this dark path the movie also is not that scary. It more goes as a th as a thriller than it does as a horror movie. It never goes for big time jump scares. The kills when people die is extremely predictable in the movie. Um, Dulé Hill doesn't even show up until like halfway through the movie saying, oh, I actually have been tracking this down guy for years. It makes no sense why it takes Dulé Hill's character that long to get into the movie. And as I say, Kate Siegel just does sadly make dumb decisions in the movie. Why does she keep going back to the doctor even though she knows that he's, he's up to something? There's just a little bit too much mistakes that happen in this movie that really makes it be painful to watch because these characters should be smarter, but they're sadly written to be dumb and these decisions and they're written around all these horror thriller cliches. You've seen the doctor character a billion times. You've seen the best friend role a billion times and you've seen the detective role in this exact genre a billion times. So Sally's movie adds nothing to the horror thriller genre heading into Halloween other than Kate Siegel's really great performance in this movie and sadly only uh, other than her character this movie completely falls apart right it's well made the locations are beautiful to look at the effects are good and kate siegel is fantastic other than that this movie has is one of the most cliche movies of the entire year with a disappointing no horror and vibe to it whatsoever with one of the most predictable films as well of the year so i'm going to give hypnotic a two out of five stars. I'm going to give it a 37% from you guys did not like this movie. Let me know your thoughts on Hypnotic. If you've seen it in the comment section down below, it does not seem like anyone is liking this movie. So let me know if you actually like it. Explain to me why in the comment section down below. Did I get you excited or not excited at all for this movie? Let me know in the comment section down below. Like the video, subscribe, ring the bell. As I said, if you want some of my other reviews, they're right here on my other movie reviews. I've done 35 plus Netflix reviews, movie reviews. So you can click that link for my entire list of all the movies I've seen this year. Also, because Kate Siegel's in this movie, you can see my full non-spoiler review of Midnight Manor on the top right. What, probably my favorite show of the entire year thus far. Go check out my review right there. Other videos are coming down the line here really, really quick, guys. Um, Army of Thieves, which is the new um, Army of the Dead prequel movie that comes out on Friday. That review will be, will be on Friday. Also, Antlers is the new movie coming out this week as well as Last Night in Soho. I'm figuring out a way to watch Last Night in Soho, but for sure, I'll be able to watch Antlers. That's what my movie theater is showing. So Antlers review should also be available on Friday, as well as my box office breakdown show on Monday. Other TV show reviews are coming down the line. Ted Lasso season two spoiler review will be coming very soon, possibly tomorrow, as well as reviews of I Know You Did Last Summer season one and season five of Insecure and also Dickinson starting season three. So, so many reviews are coming down here on the channel. So please subscribe and I'll see you guys soon.